Another group that wants to be included in vaccinations right now, teachers. Local education leaders are tracking hundreds of COVID-19 cases linked to schools in just the past month. Our Sarah Hollenbeck finds out what changes could be coming in Pinellas County classrooms to keep kids and teachers healthy. The numbers are just so much higher than they were back in August. Every day, Nancy Velarde at the Pinellas Classroom Teachers Association says she hears from teachers worried about their own health. And with more students planning to return to school buildings for the second semester, she's demanding changes, including more distance between desks. We're asking for four feet. We think that four feet with the masks would be safe. Wednesday, leaders from the school district and the union will visit an elementary, middle, and high school to compromise on prevention measures that both groups hope will slow the spread of COVID-19. We're not seeing a lot of cases where there's a spreader event in a classroom. We've had a couple of sports teams at schools where there's been some spread. But what, what it tells us is that our mitigation strategies are working. Some teachers interact with hundreds of students every day, and education leaders say they also need to be made a top priority when it comes to vaccines for COVID-19. The Pinellas County School Board unanimously voted to send this letter to the governor. They argue that teachers are essential workers, especially since the state forced districts to keep schools open throughout the pandemic. Earlier this month, Governor Ron DeSantis said he's not considering speeding up the timetable for teachers to get vaccinated. District leaders hope with enough pressure, he will reconsider. I really, really hope that we recognize the value of our teachers, the value of our public schools. In Pinellas County, Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.